Untouchable. For months, a Bay Area Animal Liberation Group has staged daring rescues of animals inside factory farms without ever getting caught or arrested. But tonight, their luck has run out. A Utah prosecutor has charged Wayne Schwing, uh, the leader of the group, DXC, and five other members with felony theft. Those charges connected to what DXC refers to as the rescue of a sick turkey from a Utah turkey farm. The group says they uncovered horrific conditions at that facility. Animal rights groups have been exposing shocking videos of inhumane conditions at factory farms for decades. Now, what sets DXE apart is that they don't wear masks. Their followers are worldwide and growing, but so are their critics. Susie Steimel has this original report. You may have seen them holding a funeral for turkeys at your local Whole Foods, <laughs> reenacting makeup testing on animals at a Mac store, or being tackled by a San Francisco giant while protesting hot dog meat at the ballpark. This is direct action everywhere, and they desperately want your attention. So do you feel that you have to be sensational to get people to listen? I think we have to provoke. Unlike most animal activists who hide their identities, Wayne Chung, the 40-year-old co-founder of DXC, proudly shows his unmasked face while breaking and entering into farms to save animals he believes are being mistreated. The videos are posted on Facebook. This rescue of Lily the piglet from a commercial hog farm is the most popular, with more than a million views. We show our faces because we believe in our actions. We believe that what we're doing is not something we should hide. Wayne is a former law professor and former meat eater turned vegan. He knows the law well and isn't afraid to break it to raise awareness. Usually, DXE goes after large-scale factory farms where they've rescued animals from filthy conditions and cannibalism. All right, everyone, we're doing something we've never done before. We're going to try and live stream an open rescue. But recently, Wayne crossed a new line. This winter, he live streamed on Facebook an apparent break in to steal a baby goat from a small family farm in the Bay Area. A lot of people believe falsely that this small scale farming is more humane. If that animal is going to be sold off for slaughter, there is a profit motive that will prevent that animal from being well treated over the long term. These guys are terrorists for the farming community. They're terrorists. <laughs> Judy Hoffman is a boar goat farmer up in Anderson. When she saw the open rescue, she was enraged. As a farming community, of any kind of animal, we feel threatened that he has a call to arms to people that it's okay to do this. This is Jill. Judy knows every goat by name on her Bear Creek Ranch. Most of them are 4-H animals. Kids pay for the livestock with their own money, train them, and take them to competition where they bring home belt buckle prizes the size of pancakes. She thinks this is the kind of goat Wayne stole that night. I'm not opposed to anybody being vegan. That's their right, but what's not their right is to steal. Judy says the open rescue may have been staged for publicity because to date, no farm has come forward complaining about a theft. He's making a ton of money off of this. And so yeah, this all this sensationalism, it's going into his pocket. We looked into DXE's finances. Friends of DXE, a nonprofit that funds DXE's campaigns, brought in just under a half a million dollars in 2016. But not a dollar of that went toward people's salaries. Instead, proceeds went to protests and conferences. The FBI raided two animal sanctuaries looking for Lily the piglet and several other piglets taken from a factory farm. But in that case, DXE was never charged. How many times have you been arrested for your work? I've been arrested now well over a dozen times. How many times have those charges stuck? To date, zero. Wayne firmly believes 100 years from now, people will see animal rights as the next frontier of social justice. Anytime you commodify animals and turn them into meat, it's going to cause immense suffering. And for now, he's willing to accept the consequences of a society that simply doesn't agree with him. I fully expect to go to prison someday, and I'm totally fine with that because I think it is the cost of creating change. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. Wayne's prediction may now come true. Today's charges could land him and the five other members of the group in prison for up to 10 years.